Hello everybody, so in this video I am going to show you how to create your own website. If you want to be an artist who sells your work, you are a business person whether you want to be or not. And it's important as an artist and as a business to get your name online. My sponsor for this video is Wix.com, which is the website that I use to create my website. And I found them to be very good this whole time. I've used them for... I don't know how long. It's been years. I started it in high school. And if you want to create your own website, watch this video first to see how I created mine and I'll give you some tips and I'll show you how it works. And then you can go down and click the link and get started on your own. Okay, so first, Obviously, you're gonna need to create your account. You just need an email for this. Go to Wix.com. You can choose the template for your website. So there are over 500 templates to create a Wix website. So pick a template. Um, everything is fully customizable, so you aren't stuck with exactly how it looks in the template. It's just a good place to get you started. Then you can just get started designing it. Wix has lots of little tutorials that can help you along the way, um, so be sure to watch those if you need some extra help. Little side note, if you don't already have a business name, Wix does offer a business name generator and you can go to that if you need some help coming up with ideas. It's a cool tool, cool tool. I will give you my own suggestions. I recently actually did a website name change. My original website name was thatoneartistdarcy.com because I wanted it to be that one artist, but that was already taken. I ended up changing it to just my name. DarcyDenton.com because I want it to be a little bit more professional and if you're an artist and you're trying to figure out what to name your website, what to name your business, two suggestions. So you could go the route that I went for my website and have your name just be the title of your business or you could do something like like for mine, I could add artist on the end, DarcyDentonArtist.com or DarcyDenton.art. Or if you have an Instagram, YouTube, something like that, and you already have a username that is fairly known, you can use that as well. Hope those suggestions were helpful. I know coming up with a name can be kind of stressful, but um, you got this. If you want to have a logo, Wix also has a little tool that you can use. It's the Wix Logo Maker. I tried it out. Um, so you can see what it came up with for me. You can just type in your name, you can let them know what your style is, what kind of logos you like, and then it'll generate just a bunch of random logos for you to choose from. And then once you click on one of those, then it's kind of just like the website, it'll go into an editor and you can customize your logo from there. So the Wix logo maker and the Wix uh, business name generator are two little tools that it gives you for free just makes them a more likable company Just they didn't have to do that, but they did so it was, it was pretty cool to discover that my website is already up and running I'm not gonna be like Starting from a blank screen and everything so I'll show you where my website is now and in this video My plan is to just completely redesign it. So I did a few little sketches to come up with an idea for how this website could look like. So I'm gonna be referring to those a little bit as I'm designing it. I wanted it to be like this nice, simple design, kind of minimal, not too crowded, just simple for people to use and creative as well because I am an artist and I don't want my website to just look like every other website out there. There's just that urge to be unique whenever you're a creative individual. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign into my account. So. This is my dashboard. Whenever I edit my site, I always go down here to the very bottom left corner to edit site, and it'll take you directly to the editor. Okay, so you can see how my website currently looks. I have not made this public. Before I get too far in editing this, let me just give you guys a little overview of this editing page. So at the top here, we have menus and pages, and this essentially just lets you edit all the pages and menus that you have on your website. Here's my home, here's my gallery, and underneath that page I have oil paintings and the memorialized project. 
let me show you how that works. Let me go to preview website. Preview mode lets you see what your website looks so far if you were to publish it. So I'm on home right now. I'm gonna go hold my, mo hold my mouse over gallery and then you can go to one of these two pages underneath there. And so that's what that looks like on the real website. You can also hide pages that you don't use anymore. As you can see, I have a lot of pages I don't use anymore. Over here, this next icon is page background. Pretty straightforward. This plus icon is just a lot more editing elements. You can add a strip, you can add just text, image, a button, a gallery. That is very important for all you artists out there. If you want a blog on here, you can even add a blog. Just click add to site and it's that simple. This is the theme manager. It gives you nice color palettes. The app market. Wix has so many things that you can add to your website. If you didn't set up your template as an online store in the beginning, then you can just go into the apps and add the Wix store app. You can even add your Instagram feed, which is kind of cool. Over here is media, just adding photos to your page. Here's uh, just the blog, again, they have it in, a, in its own little section. The store manager, once you start your store. And then down here is marketing and SEO, which will help you drive traffic to your website. All right, and now I'm going to edit my website. So I wanna take all of this stuff off of the top. I'm just gonna zoom it all. So I just edited this little icon and I'm gonna just drag it back into the website. I just need to go to the plus sign add and then select image and then go to my image uploads click upload media in the left hand corner and upload from computer and it saves everything that you have uploaded so you can always just find whatever you uploaded in the past in this little section and there's this little home beside my 4x4 canvas painting hmm all right, you know what? I have a lot of thinking to do about this design. So I'm gonna turn off the camera and I will get back to you when I have more of a structure. Okay, so after about an hour of design work, I finally have my homepage icons. Kinda of proud of them. So let's add some links to these icons. We're gonna add a link to this one right here. Go to settings, go to when image is clicked, a link opens. And the link will be to a page on my website and it will be memorialized. And we're gonna add links to all of these. I need to make pages. Let me edit my menus. I'm just gonna click add page. And now that new page shows up right here. I'm gonna change the title in drawings, or I'll change it to ink drawings. Done. And then I can just grab this little section right here and move it into gallery. So we've made some headway. It is an almost closing time for this building and the internet is just driving me crazy. So I'm gonna bring this back to my apartment I may or may not film myself doing it, but I will record. 20 minutes. Okay, thank you. I will be screen recording the whole process. For the look that I'm going for with this website, I wanted to change it so that the header and footer was not on the first page. So to do that, all you have to do is go to the icons on the left, go to the top one, which is menu and pages. Then you click on that little button on the home button and click on settings then you just have to go to layouts and select no header and footer and just go ahead and select that and now you don't have a header and footer on this specific page and you can do that on any page i selected it on home but you can also choose to do it on another page by choosing the same button and going through the same process after previewing my page and trying to see if those icons in the center were actually in the center i decided they needed to be moved down a little easy to move things you just have to click on the image and then just move it it's pretty straightforward but i wanted to make sure they were all in the center and they give you little guiding lines like that pink line you see in the center and it'll show you if you are um, lining them up with each other correctly 
to navigate through your website, you just need to click on that menu and pages button again, and you can click on each individual page that you wanna go visit and edit. So I clicked on my gallery page and I'm going to be editing the header that will be on the rest of my website because the only page I wanted it to not be on is homepage, but then everything else I want the header to be there. First, I want to add my logo to the header, so I'm going to click the third icon from the top on the left, the add button, and I want to add an image, so I'm going to select image and then go to my image uploads. Then I'm going to click upload media in the top left hand corner and select upload from my computer. I'm going to select the image that I want and it is uploading. And then once it's in my images, then I can just click add to page and you can scale it to the size you want and you can even crop it if you just click on the image and then click on that little crop icon at the top. I decided I wanted a different logo so I just went back in and changed that one more time. Next I would like to add a menu so I'm going to go to the add button again and click menu and I actually had to search it on here but they make that pretty easy I couldn't remember where to find menu it was pretty obvious once I figured it out, but yes, it is just in that add section. Then I clicked, I chose the menu that I wanted and just dragged and dropped it to the top of my page. I wanted to change the location of the words gallery and projects on my menu, so I simply went to the menu and pages button again and dragged gallery to be over projects. I navigated to my gallery page and I already had set up a theme for this page but I decided that I didn't want that and I just wanted to start with a clean slate so I deleted all of those things and then I went into the add button again and I clicked gallery. I just selected the gallery design I wanted, clicked on it and added it to the page and then I resized it just like you can resize images. To edit the pictures in your gallery. You just have to click on it and then click manage media and they already have some stock photos in there for you but I wanted to delete all of those and I just went through and clicked on the trash can to delete them and then I clicked add media to add my own images. So those are now in the gallery and then I went to another section of my gallery, the handmade print section, and it's a, just the same process. Just inserting the gallery, then deleting all the pictures that were already in it, and uploading my own pictures. So now I want to create a landing page for my gallery because I have many different types of galleries. So I'm on the main gallery page and not one of the subcategories. And I am going to be adding little icons for people to be able to click on to navigate to each of the little sections of my gallery. So I went through the same process of uploading photos and rescaling them and moving them all into place. I'm adding text by selecting the add button and just clicking text. And then I'm adding more text, just a little caption for each photo to let people know what section of the gallery it'll bring them to. To easily do this, you can hold option on your computer, at least that's the way it is for my own laptop. Um, I press the option key and then I click and drag the text and it will easily copy so that I don't have to add another text box. Oh, and by the way, I changed the height of my page here just a little bit. All I did was go down to the footer and click the button that is down there. Um, when you mouse over it, it says change page height. So I just clicked that and moved the page up a little bit. So now to add links to all of these buttons, I'm going to actually add a link to both the picture and the text. And to do that, you just click on what you want to add the link to. And then in the options above that, you can see a little link icon that is the second one from the end. And then you can tell the website what exactly you want it to link to. You can have it open to another web address, a document, but I wanted it to open to a page within my website. And then I just selected which page I wanted it to go to. Adding a link to your text is actually a little bit different than adding a link to an image. So all you have to do is click on the text and say edit text. You will find a little link icon in that box 
you can click on that and then add the link that way. And here I'm just doing a little preview by clicking the preview button in the top right corner and making sure they go to the pages I want them to go to. And I'm also checking my menu in the top. I showed you guys how to add something to a menu in a drop down box earlier in this video. And so I'm also checking on those buttons to make sure everything still does what I want it to do. Here I just moved to my little memorialize gallery page and I'm editing the placement of things on this page just by moving the gallery and then I'm also wanting to add some text and again you just need to add a text box to do that. I'm adding another gallery in my With Love 2020 page which is the page where I document the t-shirts that I made last year. I actually decided to change the way this gallery grid laid out. So to do that, I clicked on the gallery, then I clicked settings, layout, and I chose to do the collage instead of the grid. And it just made it look more interesting. Next, I am editing my Make It Beautiful page, adding the logo to that by adding an image adding some text that I actually just copied and pasted from my Instagram post that was talking about this project. And I didn't add a gallery to that page because I don't have anything to show for it yet, so I can come back and add something there later. Next, I am editing my acrylic painting gallery. I added a gallery and then I chose the photos I wanted in that gallery. And I'm also arranging the order. You can just simply click on an image and drag it to arrange how it will show up on the page. And then I'm just changing the names of these. You can change all the titles. You can even add a description to them. So I previewed it to see what it looks like whenever I click on the images themselves. And I didn't like how the text looked. So to fix that, all you have to do is again, click on the gallery itself and then click on settings. I clicked on settings here first, it's already on the setting I want it to be on, but if you can see there under gallery settings, when clicking on an item, open in expand mode, and that is the mode I want it to be in, and that is the mode that I'm actually editing how the design looks. So I click on design, and then click on expand mode at the bottom, and say customize expand mode, and then it takes you into this little editing box. What I want to change here is pretty much just the font that is used for the title. So I went down to title style and I was able to choose a different font and I previewed it and I liked that much better. And now I'm just checking the other pages to make sure they are also all okay. The printmaking page wasn't quite finished so I'm editing it a little bit more, putting it in that collage style and then editing expand mode. I'm also changing the oil gallery into the collage design and I'm doing that I'm doing that with all of my galleries except for the acrylic gallery. I just felt like that one looked better with just a square grid. Now it's time to edit my about me page, deleting everything on there. Got to have a fresh start. I chose a new photo and then I just added some new text. Editing text is pretty simple. You just click on the text box and then say edit text and it's honestly pretty straightforward from there. You can edit the font, the size, pretty much everything that you can edit on other applications. I changed my little signature at the top one more time. I wanted it to look more like what I actually signed my paintings with and this is more accurate to that signature. So I have gotten my website to pretty much where I want it. And last but not least, it is important to edit the mobile view. So in the top left corner of your dashboard, you can see a phone icon. If you just click that, then you are able to edit the mobile view. Mostly what you'll be doing in this window is just editing the size and placements of things. So just clicking on images and rescaling them and moving them around. They are still buttons. You don't have to add links to them again. Everything is how you set it up to be on your desktop website. You can also make things that are visible on the desktop hidden on the mobile website. All you have to do is click the item and there will be a little eye with a slash through it. If you click on that, then you can make it hidden.
I just checked all my galleries to make sure everything was as it should be. I found some text on a few of the galleries that I'm not sure how it got there, but I went ahead and deleted that. And the menu that you had on your desktop shows up as those little three lines on the top right corner. So I clicked that and made sure everything was clickable and it all worked correctly. Made a few more adjustments. And finally, the actual last thing that I did was add a link to my little signature in the top left-hand corner. I wanted people to be able to click to that to get to home. So I just clicked on the image, did the whole link thing, clicked on the link icon, um, clicked where I wanted it to link to, and there we go. All right, so the location has changed to my super messy bedroom. I have just finished the website and I'm gonna give you guys a little tour and then I'm gonna publish it and that's exciting. So to publish, super easy, top right hand corner, just click that and then it's published. And you can see on here my domain name, uh, darcydenton.com and Wix allowed me to connect that to my website. Here is my super nice minimalistic homepage. So all you gotta do is click on one of these icons and then it'll go into the website and there will be the menu up there and everything. I have my signature in the top left hand corner. So let's go to oil paint and then you can go in these and you can see the titles and the medium and just kind of go through the whole gallery. Let's go to acrylic, acrylic. And I do have a main gallery page, I forgot to show you that. So this, if you, somebody clicks gallery, then you can see all the options with pictures. Under projects, we have memorialize, my toilet shirt design project. It, it brings me joy. And then make it beautiful, 2021. And then of course my shop is not on the website yet, but that will be coming to my YouTube channel soon. I actually want to mention really quick here that Wix actually has an Etsy integration and I should have added that in here anyway because my shop is actually currently on Etsy but you can pretty much just put your Etsy shop into the website so that is an option and then there's also an e-com platform that they provide that I will be showing you in my next Wix video when I put up my shop. And then go to my about page and it's also pretty simple I just have my artist statement a little blurb about who I am and then my photo and it's all very easy to navigate I put a link on my signature here because people often will go to the kind of the logo of the website to get back home and there we go we have gone full circle that is my website I am very excited I am glad that I finally uh, edited it because I've been needing to do that for a while I hope you guys have enjoyed this little transformation slash tutorial video. Just a little peek again into what it is like to be a professional artist. As if I know what it's like to be a professional artist. I'm just a college student. I do really seriously recommend getting a website. Um, feel free to go to the link in the description to find my website and explore it for yourself. And let me know what you thought about my design choices. Also, don't forget to check out Wix. Their link is in the description below. Go check them out. Start your own website today. Get it done. Check that off your list and start attracting people to your art and your business and whatever. Whatever your dreams are, just get a website, put it out there. All right, and I think that's about it. So I'm gonna end this video now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will be back soon with another video. A vlog will probably be coming next, so you can look forward to that. Um, but until then, hope you guys are happy, and stay safe, and keep up a positive attitude. And yeah, bye.